Hello everyone and I want to wish you happy holidays and today we are doing baskets and I want to show you some ideas. I'm getting ready for our Christmas party so I always put together some nice things for my team and I found these plates. These are so cute. They're ceramic and I am putting Avon on top. This is the uh, Lux set. So I'm gonna wrap some up so that you can see how pretty some of them look. And for some of you who are not so artistic, I recommend that you use this ribbon because you do not have to curl. So this is easy, a simple bow and you're done okay and this is another one and as you can see we mix and match different fragrances we don't do sets because if you have this as a leftover that a customer didn't purchase or you just have the fragrance and you do not have the body lotion, you can just put a gift set together like this and have the customer try two different fragrances. So these I love, my customers love them too. And um, they get to try two different fragrances. So this is the um, another set, okay, skin care. And then look at this one. We have the reversalist. As you can see, we take everything out of the box, okay? And we tape everything with clear, uh, crystal clear tape. And we line it up so that it looks pretty and presentable. The same, the plates. And I showed you one with the matching face watch. Well, this one I used another one from Avon Elements and I put it with the Anu. So, it's you don't have to make it exactly the same set. This is another one and I used the new uh, Derma and this is the uh, um, Faraway Gold. So, See? Another genius idea. <laughs> and the last one, well, one, I have one more. I have eight to show you. With the same plate, this one is Daily Needs. And then I use the hand cream moisture therapy, the derma, and the skin so soft. And I put it on the plate. Um, I like these plates because you can put heavy products on there. So that it doesn't uh, fall apart or break the plastic plate. So consider um, using the ceramic plates for the heavier products. And this is the Genix, and then I put uh, a Mega here. And I'm using the clear because I want um, to be able to, to see the bottom of the plate. Okay? So. There you go, and I'm going to wrap up um, a few of them so you can see how easy it is. And I'm using this small bag. I hope it fits. And it doesn't fit. <laughs> I think it's a little too tight. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a little, little too tight, right? Let's see if you can make it fit in this one. So I'm going to try the bigger bag because I really thought that the dessert plate was going to fit on there. We'll try both. But it looks like it won't fit, right? Yeah, no, it's not going to fit. So we try the next size. And put the plate in first and line it, line it up. Okay, just like this. Thank you 
bloody stuff. And we put it in the middle. Then put this in here. Okay, that's simple. Then put the um, basket stuff in. You can make these so fast. And I'm telling you, I make simple baskets. And you don't have to be an artist to do a basket. You can just, um, you know, do it. <laughs> it's going to make you a lot of money, believe me, because the, the baskets are um, beautiful gifts that people buy all year round. It gets rid of all your inventory, so believe me, if you want to move some inventory, uh, you want to do baskets, you want to put them together and sell them. What I like is that my customers buy my baskets all year round, so when they have a gift, they come here to my house and then they buy the baskets. I use the baskets as incentive for my team. Instead of giving them a, a full-size product, I give them a pretty basket because they can put that basket to work. They can sell it, they can raffle it, they can um, use it as incentive. So, and it creates a habit of them doing their own baskets. My team does a lot of baskets, and it took me two years to get them to do baskets. So, be persistent. I never thought that it would work, because the more I taught them how to do baskets, the less baskets they made. So now, everyone on Facebook is making baskets. <laughs> and on YouTube. So it's, it's amazing to see that everyone is. And look at this. Look how pretty. See? Simple. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do the tallest. The, this one. The big one. So that you can also see how nicely it is done. So put the plate in there. I'm giving you this one example so that um, you can uh, just start practicing. It doesn't take a whole lot, really. And it's so much better than just selling a plain product. Um, I charge my basket a uh, book price. When they're on sale, I give them that sale. So if a basket, if a product costs forty dollars and it's on sale for twenty-five, then my basket is twenty-five dollars. And then I add, you know, maybe $2 to cover tax or um, to co cover the tax or the, uh, the basket supplies. But as you can see, it's really not a lot of cost involved. And a lot of times, I just want to move the product. I just, you know, want to move quantity. So I just charge them the $25, and I'm making commissions anyway, so I'm eating up the cost of the, um, the cost of the materials and tax and shipping. But I'm making the commission 50% for me when I buy um, over $1,500. It's 50 percent okay so there you go make sure you tape it 
one here, see? I'm making neat, look, I usually twist this so that it doesn't bulk up. Oh, I don't like if this happens. Okay. So there you go. See? And this is pretty and simple. And none of these products are matching, so I'm sure you can find them um, in your inventory. Uh, products that you haven't moved and you can just create something beautiful see and if you want to add a nice bow you can I'm making it simple so that it can be duplicatable because everything I do is duplicatable okay so look <clears throat> I showed you another example Okay, and this, if you're doing this one, then you will tie the bow in the back so that all this is, um, you know, straight and tight. You don't want your products to move, and you always want to make the tallest product um, the middle one. If not, make the tallest product your back product so that you can tie the bow in the back, and it doesn't move, okay? Mm -hmm. And this one, the same thing, it has different levels, but when you tie the bow, you go on this side, so it doesn't, um, you know, the products are not loose. Don't do a basket without tying the products, because if, even though it might, look good, it might look good, when you handle it, the products are going to fall, and then you're going to have to redo it again. So you got to be careful with that. So I hope that helps you create beautiful baskets and look I'm gonna give you another look again see okay so Merry Christmas and have fun make lots of baskets I forgot to turn on my Christmas tree I think it's a beauty yay <laughs> So our party is Friday, everybody on our team is at our house from um, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's a potluck. So bring a dish homemade by you. I cook for you all year round, so now it's your chance, your turn, so that I can try your wonderful food. And I appreciate all you do. Thank you so much for being on our team and we appreciate the the business and and everything that you do every day to move your business forward so it's time to celebrate on friday and i have lots of gifts for you lots of baskets lots of giveaways games and a bounce house for the kids so uh, for our local team come and enjoy and the ones who are not that local um, maybe you can travel because I will travel to you one day when our son gets older and we're able to, to go visit everyone in our team. We do appreciate each and every one of you and I already said that. And I love you guys a lot and thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for being an Avon Wing superstar on our team. Bye. Do your baskets. They're worth it. Lots of fun. And um, I'll see you in the next video or I'll see you at the next meeting. Bye.